Hello guys, welcome back to my Sparrow 4 Let's Play. Today we're going to Crop Circle Country, the next level in the game. Mr. Jim back there, I hope. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard, but beware. The should be the last space gym. cows, uh, they're everywhere, everywhere. In this section, though. I would say this level because I'm used to home worlds from u the usual uh, Spyro games, but this this is this uh, home world, if you want to call it that, is actually segmented at all. Uh, so you could get up on those hay bales, but you can also climb. Uh, a little odd choice, but whatever. That's cool. UFOs. Spooky. Howdy, Spyro. Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go round back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. I like the change in this game where Spyro actually talks. Uh, it's a nice addition to the game. This level is weird. That's the number one word I could use to describe this level. It is a weird level. The game's lagging to spawn in those enemies. I don't know why. <laughs> could be the GameCube version. It's basically, this level uh, is very much uh, similar to Country Speedway from Sparrow, uh, Year of the Dragon, uh, uh, the third Sparrow game. Oh, stop getting hit, shouldn't I? Uh, except this, this is Rip Talks, obviously. This uh, game introduces Rip Talks for the first time, I believe. Basically dinosaurs. I was gonna say dinosaurs. That's what they are. Chickens. <laughs> Best, uh, best fodder in the series, maybe. <laughs> uh, especially from Town Square from the first game. I kind of like chickens. Fodder. No, no real reason, really. It's just funny to... Not all that common, though. Uh... Last time they uh, correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't played uh, much Sparrow lately. But the last time they were in the series was hey, it's Akira. In the uh, boss battles in Sparrow 2, uh, Ruto's Rage, uh, sometimes they drop in from uh, the war. Would sometimes drop them in the level, or they'd come out of the uh, eggs of the dinosaurs drop, which is odd because dinosaurs aren't chickens. Why would they why would they give birth to chickens? That, that's very strange. Uh, that's fireflies. Uh, add a little ambience to this level. This this level is full of ambience. And that's that's part of the level's charm, I believe. And 
mystery behind it. Just gets it right, I guess. Farmer Bob. Farmer. What's his name? Hey, Dean. you're Spyro, ain't you? Glad to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? No, I no. I haven't actually seen any cows. Just dinosaurs that want to kill me. And tractors. They don't want to kill me though. Uh, they seem, they seem to like to introduce these, like, waiting... Like, in the last level, we had, a, uh, like, a rice paddy field in uh, Dragonfly Dojo. They seem to like that feature. Here we have... I believe that's probably some sort of crop. Uh, looks kind of like corn, actually. Probably corn. Yeah, it's corn. <laughs> See that? It's cob on there. Corn a cob. The yellow dragonfly. I don't think we've seen yellow dragonflies. It's red, green, and blue so far. They've all been kind of annoying. Oh yeah, we have seen the yellow dragonfly. There's one right behind you, Sparrow. I I don't know if you've noticed. Also, there's two uh, what look to be Earths behind there in the sky box up there. I don't... Very strange levels so far. Hey, I do believe there is a. No, not yet. I don't think uh, that that area is. Uh, we, we barely started the level so far, so I don't think that area is uh, up there yet. There's a lot of barns, and uh, it's easy to confuse one barn with, uh, with the other. Wow. I'm still getting used to the game. I'll be honest. Uh, I haven't played for a while. <laughs> Controls a bit differently. Yeah, we get to use our lightning breath and not knock ourselves off the platform there. Supercharge in this level would be a great addition. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's supercharge. Uh, just imagine charging through these barns and stuff. Just for some reason, I'm sure there would be a reason if the developers thought of one, but... Zoe never talks to us in this game. It's, that's a strange, uh, absent. Absent. What's that word for? What's, what's the, uh... Right word for that. Strangely absent. I don't think there is a word to describe that. Absence. Sizz. Absence. Ouch. Odd machinery, those uh, lightning poles. They just stick out of the ground. That's all they are. There's no machine behind it. There's no... Uh, engine behind it. Very odd. Who put that? Put, who put that there too? I, I suppose these farmers employ the use of electricity. I suppose. Or, well, obviously that controls a UFO. So I guess the the alien 
dinosaur Riptox, put them there. How are they, why are they called Riptox, so, uh, is that their technical term, or are they not dinosaurs, they're more Riptox? I guess it's the, this, uh, world's version of dinosaurs. I don't know if they ever actually tell... Tell... I don't know if it actually says ever in Spyro 2 that there are... that they are dinosaurs. I think it might say it in the manual, maybe. Hey, it's Laurent! Nice French-sounding name. There's a side area over here. We're not going there first. We're gonna, we're gonna continue through the level first. Oh, buddy. That lag earlier uh, that happened must have been due to them teleporting uh, the enemies in or something because it hasn't happened since. And uh, the game's running pretty rock solid, actually, at uh, 1080p, if you prefer that term. It's not really 1080p because uh, the aspect ratio is a bit off. It's not exactly uh, widescreen. Uh. I could explain the technical jargon behind uh, what that means. You know, 16 by 9 and stuff. But. Oh. I think I've set that. Let me check just in case. It is not set to widescreen. Oh, crap. I thought I fixed that. Okay, so I think I could quickly, uh... That guy's gonna have to deal with that, I think. Uh... It looks normal, but if you use a HUD like that, everything is off-center and stuff. It's supposed to be, uh... The icons are supposed to be moved over a little. So there's another problem. Maybe. Oh, the uh, bubble thingy. This thing kind of doesn't come out from the side of the screen. Well, that's just a little tidbit for you uh, in this part, but it'll be fixed next time. Those are not the cows we're looking for, so. We will... I, th I think, actually, that was a side mission back here. There's a, uh, like in uh, normal tradition in uh, Spiral games, this level does wrap around on itself. The guy said uh, earlier that the barn was locked, so we have to go through the back. Thusly, you can uh, figure out for yourself, but, uh... You can come back through. I suppose you can, I don't... Okay, is this... What is this barn for? This is just to get over here. There was a life up here. Is there an enemy on top? Okay, this might actually be... Where's that ladder at? There's one of these barns is a ladder that takes you to the top. Strange sound effects in the level. I guess that might not mean anything. Let me make sure I don't accidentally... Yeah, it's pretty obvious when we find that. I don't know if I, I... I know I mentioned that these levels feel a bit uh, uh, open, you know, empty. I, I didn't say that they feel emptier because they're larger, and by default, if a level's gonna be larger, you know, PS2 can render uh, bigger levels. Gosh darn it. 
the levels are gonna be emptier, I think. Um, it's kind of a right balance. You have to you have to strike a right balance between cramped and uh, open level design, really. Uh, grain silo over there, I think. What the hell, camera? I believe that's called a silo. Right? Could be a water tower, too, I suppose. Uh, most of the time, water towers are made out of metal material, I think, so they don't leak. Right? I, I suppose that would make sense. Yeah, here, here's another. That's probably some sort of. I'm not, I don't know really much about uh, farming buildings and whatnot and what they're made to hold and stuff, you know. But it's a good uh, thing to have in video games. It makes a good uh, setting. Most of the time. Including a, a game I'll talk about in a bit once we get to the Hunter Challenge. The hunter shows up right up there, you see that area. I've always wondered why there were uh, bales of hay there. Which, like, put inside the building, it's just an odd choice. To... Because you can clearly see, if, if you look through the gap, there's nothing else behind it. I guess it's just kind of being stored there. Oh, okay, it goes through. Then there's Hales Bay over there, not in the barn. Just, uh, you know, as a level designer, they're probably just thinking, huh, oh, all these barns look the same. What can we do differently with them? Uh, so they decided to put a... Uh, bales of hay inside of one. And that barn doesn't have a back entrance. There's a, a portal. A portal inside there. To a side area, which is not a new thing for Spyro games. Uh, Spyro games have had side areas uh, since Spyro 3. Very odd bug there with the, the, the crystal, the, the, the glittery whatever sparkles. And the sound effects. I noticed this, uh, I don't know, was I playing this game? I was playing this game. The sound effects are actually straight from uh, Spyro 1. That's, uh, that's cool, you know. The developers are actually taking time out to take resources from the original game and put them in there. Makes it seem more like a Spiral game, definitely. I got a purple gym yet, or a magenta gym, because uh, I don't think I have, but th those gems are actually really strange because they're actually worth uh, not the usual value. You're worth different uh, value here. All right, well, we'll come back for that because we have to go to that area anyway. Uh, the power up meter. I also noticed. I, I didn't realize this, but uh, power up meter doesn't have a flame icon on top. This is a flame challenge, and there's no flame on there. It's just odd, odd, very odd. As are you. I don't know what the heck you are. I guess you're a human. Hey, Spyro! Glad you're here. The doors are jammed. I set some explosives, but don't have any matches. My mama always told me that I should never play with matches. 
anyway, maybe you can help me with light. Well, you're a farmer. I don't think you'd want to play with matches around cows and horses and hay and... Easy way to catch it, stuff on fire, you know. Did I light it? That work? What's going on over here? <laughs> yeah, the uh, explosive. <laughs> Oh, go! those cows are actually the ones we have to herd, I think, for a dragonfly. But let's go back and talk to uh, Farmer Bill back here. I bet the first guy we talked to is Farmer Bob. Bob Dean Bill. Get us hey dragonfly. There, dragon. yeah. Thanks for helping out. Yeah. Anytime, Farmer Bill. Here, take this thing in the jig. I was gonna use it in my new smoker BBQ for flavor. <laughs> hey, it's Fiona. Would be more fitting if she was green. And, and you can make a Shrek reference. Um, barbecuing, yeah. It's time to. It's summer. It's probably summer. This level seems to be set in the summer. Obviously, because everything is nice and green, and why would you farm in the winter? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess I missed that gym. Odd gym to miss. Ouch. And uh, suddenly these weird thing with Jiggy uh, tractor beams showed up. I don't know why that happened. Oh no, uh, Spider Dill. What can I do to help? We've set up some cannons just in case they come back, but we don't have any way to power them. Maybe you can help us power them with your lightning breath. Just make sure you activate the cannon when the UFO is nearby. Yeah, it's really uh, different. Uh, along with the larger levels, you just have so much more stuff to do. Obviously, each level, uh, if we've seen the Atlas before, each level has ten dragonflies. That's a big difference between uh, the other two games, the other games in the series. Which I believe the, the most uh, level ever had in any uh, Sparrow game is four, I think. I don't think we've ever had more than four orbs, definitely, because I know I played that uh, I played that last year, and the Let's Play that I did of it. Uh, I don't think we've ever had more than four dragon, uh, uh, dragon eggs. Could be wrong about that one. Okay, I don't know. What, what am I doing here? Okay, we want to... No, I think... Okay, that'll work. Uh, I thought we were going to put them in the, the pasture over there. We've got to take the farmer, uh, Dean, over here. Glitchy sound effects uh, in this whole game. I just remember uh, the cows getting stuck in the corn uh, patch over there, and I wasn't able to get them out. Okay, is that all the cows? Because that was pretty easy. And there's more tractor beams, whatever they're for. Thanks for freeing the cows. You think you can go get them and move them back here? What do I look like, a sheepdog? I don't, I still don't know what the point of that is. We're moving the UFO, I guess that's gonna do something. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, there's another one. No. Guess he's. I guess that uh, didn't give me any problems this time, but. Not that it would, I mean. Way to go, Spyro! We'll make a farmer out of you yet. By the way, while you were out looking for Macau, I found this here critter and I think it may belong to you. Hey, it's Cedric! I do believe you can uh, flame these. Is there something we can do with them? No. I guess I'm confusing uh, a, a different game or something. Don't know. Oh, can we hit the uh, farmers? <laughs> Obviously, using the cows. I'm gonna go backwards because why not? I want to talk to Dean up, or Dill up here again. Dill Pickle, you know? <laughs> they don't farm pickles. Seems like if Bill was in the barn, he could have saved the cows himself, doesn't it? Oh no, Spiber, the UFO that took the cow. Yeah, it does. What was that? Seems like if Bill was in the barn, he could have saved the cows himself, doesn't he? Oh no, Spiber, the UFO that took the cows is back. It's gonna steal my cows again. Yeah, it does. And now there's no, no audio there. That's weird coding. Uh, that's the end of this part. Uh, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, I don't want to take that time up. I don't want to take up any more time with the side quest, uh, side levels, so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time on my Sparrow 4 Let's Play in Crop Circle Country.